Whatever your hopes and dreams may be, you will arise from this guided meditation much more comfortable and much more confident than before. It will all seem effortless to you. Now prepare yourself. Arrange your clothes, arrange your blanket, put away all other devices so that we will have no disturbances during this guided meditation. Now let's begin by taking a deep breath together, inhaling through the nose, inhale deeply, spreading that oxygen throughout your whole body, from the top of your head to the tips of your toes and exhale through the mouth double the time. Again, inhale deeply, deeply, deeply through the nose, putting a smile on your face, spreading that oxygen throughout your whole body, invigorating every cell. And exhaling Double the time, releasing any stress and any strain. Once again, inhale deeply, 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 relaxing your shoulders, dropping your jaw as you relax the whole physical body. And exhaling double the time. Focus your attention on the sound of your breathing. Observe your abdomen area as it's rising and falling with every breath you take. Observe how it's inflating like a balloon and it's deflating every time you exhale, rising and falling. Allow your breathing to be natural as you're relaxing deeper and deeper with every breath you take. And now your breath has turned into the waves reaching a sandy beach somewhere in Greece where you find yourself alone walking along the shore. In today's meditation, we will reflect on the notion that the only secure source of happiness is your inner world. This is because everything outside of you can be taken away, can be destroyed. Therefore, it is foolish to trust your happiness and well-being to that which is outside of your control. Everything can be taken from you at any moment except one thing, the last of your freedoms. To be able to choose your attitude in any given set of circumstances. You are free to choose your own way of thinking. 
As Seneca, the Stoic philosopher, wrote, We have no grounds for self-admiration through our possessions, as they have been loaned to us. We may use and enjoy them, but the one who has allotted his gifts decides how long we are going to be the tenants. Our duty is to keep ready the gifts we have been given for an indefinite amount of time and to return them when called upon making no complaints in the process. Let's reflect on that for a moment. Do you truly own anything? Think about all your possessions. Are they really within your control? For example, your body, your money, your relationships. Are these all really within your full control? Not really, because at any given moment these can be taken away from you due to a change of luck. Another Stoic philosopher, Publilius Cyrus, taught that if you are to have a great kingdom, rule over it yourself. So ruling over yourself is the most important thing you can do. It is in fact the only thing you can truly rule over and control. And that's really what we are here to reflect on today. You see, your real power can't be taken away, not by the economy, by the virus, by the election, or anyone else. A weak person is dependent on the moods of the crowd, the stock market, or the weather. But a philosopher, a lover of wisdom, in other words, a lover of true happiness, focuses their attention on happiness, inner happiness, which is based on your own perception and your own principles. Other people may hate you, they may be toxic towards you, they may be jealous or resentful for some reason. They can make fun of you or even try to destroy your reputation. But no one can take away your own inner happiness based on free perception and principles. Mm -hmm. 
No one can stop you from ruling over yourself. It's the best and the biggest and the strongest kingdom there is. Your true kingdom is within. Your true queendom is within. It is not a question of fashion or weather or other people's opinions. You must begin to think of everything outside of yourself as borrowed. They are on loan from nature, fortune, God, or whatever force you want to name yourself. And you can only use these things temporarily. You are a sort of caretaker. Everything can be taken away from you in an instant, without prior notice, without anyone asking. It can just be taken away. One wrong move, one false decision, someone else's mistake, someone else's accident. Things can be lost, they can be broken, stolen, burned, or killed or abused. So imagine that you have everything from your own physical body to your children, your spouse, your lover, your car, your computer, everything that is outside of you can be taken away. These are really all just being loaned to you. You're borrowing them. At any point, the lender may want these back. The universe itself may change. Simply be grateful for what you have received today. Appreciate every moment. Experience affluence in all its shapes and forms. Enjoy it while it's there. But also be willing to envisage yourself without any of all that and still be free because you carry your kingdom, your queendom within and this can never be taken away from you.
Now is a good time to repeat your deep affirmation three times mentally and know that no matter what may happen in your life, this deep affirmation, this goal will definitely become an experience for you. On the count of three, you will be returning to full open awareness. One, take a deep breath, expanding your shoulders, rising your hands over your head, stretching like you do early in the morning. Two, take another deep breath and stretch your body from side to side. Inhaling deeply and feeling revitalized, coming back to awareness. Three, stretch your whole body from the tips of your fingers to the tips of your toes. You're expanding and awakening. You're feeling confident, powerful, and much more certain of yourself. This is a good time to open your eyes if you've had them closed up until now. The reality may look the same, but you have changed, and that makes all the difference. Once again, thank you for supporting my work on Patreon.com.